All right, we're going to move on to politics now in the race for the White House. Former President Donald Trump will hold a press conference today at noon right here in New York before heading to Charlotte, North Carolina, to speak to the Fraternal Order of Police's National Board of Trustees at their fall meeting. He'll also hold a rally this weekend in Wisconsin. The tour comes ahead of next week's debate. And last night, during the second part of his town hall with Fox News, Trump addressed his strategy for the upcoming presidential debate. When I had Biden, you and I had the same discussion. Yeah. And I let him talk. I'm going to let her talk because, you know, <laughs> you've all seen it. There are those that say that Biden is smarter than she is, okay? <laughs> and if that's the case, we have a problem. So we have team coverage uh, following both the Trump and the Harris campaigns today. Start things off with CBS News, Nicole Killian joining us now with more on the Trump fans campaign and their movements. So uh, as we mentioned, uh, Trump is going to be speaking to the Fraternal Order of Police's National Board. Um, it, I imagine that law enforcement, uh, that, that that vote is a crucial vote for the Trump campaign. Well, certainly uh, the former president, even in his time as president, cast himself as this law and order president. And he has uh, made the issue of crime a key one, and not only in this campaign, but in his previous runs for office as well. So um, this is a relationship uh, that he has with law enforcement. He has been endorsed by a number of law enforcement organizations just, in fact, uh, earlier this year, including... Uh, uh, here in Charlotte just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but in terms of the Fraternal Order of the Police, while they did back his bid back in 2020, uh, so far they have not made an endorsement yet. So a uh, part of this speech today is, of course, to uh, court this organization as he continues to uh, sound this theme of uh, fighting crime and public safety on the trail. So, in the meantime, yesterday, uh, what we heard from Donald Trump is a bit about his plan for the economy. And one of the things that he said he wants to put together is a government efficiency commission to essentially audit the government. And it would be led by Elon Musk. Um, so, can you walk us, walk us through the details of the plan? What did he reveal? Yeah, so this is something, and granted, this is uh, not an original idea in the sense that other presidents and candidates have kind of pitched this idea before. But uh, what the former president wants to do, as you say, is kind of audit the federal government and really try to cut down on waste, fraud, abuse, improper payments, something that he believes is possible within six months of taking office if he's elected. And as you heard in his economic speech yesterday, he believes Elon Musk is the guy to do it. Elon Musk even uh, acknowledged on X that it's something he may potentially be interested in. So uh, that being said, uh, that is the goal of uh, the former president. Obviously, this was part of a broader economic rollout where the former president also talked about, for instance, streamlining regulations uh, for every uh, new regulation that's introduced, uh, cutting 10 back. So this really is about trying to bring more efficiency to the federal government. Elon Musk, same guy that you know, didn't really audit Twitter all that well when he uh, made that purchase. Uh, but I'm sure he would do a much better job with the government, uh, Nicole, much, much smaller organization. Thank you.